Hey guys, it's Dave, and uh, we're doing a little bit of a desktop review right now. Um, you might have seen the HD video that I posted on YouTube or at my blog. I put it up uh, as Vimeo there. But I got a uh, Flip Mino uh, HD for Christmas, so I took a little bit of sample footage so you guys can see you know, the quality, and um, now I'm going to review it since I've had some time to play with it. So I've already opened it, so I can't really do an unboxing, but I'll show you what everything looks like. So here's the box, and that's the back. <laughs> You might want to see the front first. Okay, so here's the front of the box. Um, it's If you've seen it, it's just like any other Flip Mino box that I can think of, except for it says HD up here at the top. Um, square, shoot and share in HD, that's probably another difference. Uh, but good packaging. It's just like, reminds me of an Apple product, kind of like the um, when I opened up the uh, iPod Touch. And the box has this really cool feel to it. It's almost like it's fake like leather, it's textured, it's really nice, but um, so that's the box. Obviously flip Mino HD at the bottom again. And that's pretty much it. You open it up kind of like a a ring, a ring box. And then that's where all the stuff was, but I've taken it out since then. You can see the the hole there where the player would actually usually be sitting. So that's the box. Um, here's another this is probably one of my favorite things that came with it besides the camera itself. This is the little microfiber case that you put the Mino in. Obviously it's really shiny so you get fingerprints on it whenever you use it but the nice thing about this is that you put the Mino HD in this or the Mino. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Mino comes with it. Just a standard version as well. And even if there's fingerprints on it <clears throat> you just give it a little wipe. It's 12 while it's, o'clock. Sorry about that. 12 o'clock. Um, you give it a little wipe while it's in the case and then it comes out without any fingerprints nice and clean. So here's the actual player, and I'm sorry if it's dark. Um, you can see there's a nice reflection right in the front of it there. Here's the back, and again, the only difference really being that it says Mino HD. Uh, it's, I don't think it's any different from a um, dimensions perspective. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same size and everything. Um, uh, but I will give you a little bit of a comparison. So here's the Mino HD. Here's the uh, iPod Touch. So as you can see, the Mino HD is considerably smaller. I'll try to keep them in the middle there. If I turn it on its side, obviously, there, I don't think there's anything out there that's thinner than the iPod Touch, but it's a little bit thicker um, than the iPod Touch. But uh, the Mino HD is uh, thinner and um, not thinner like that, but not as long and not as tall. So it's a bit of a comparison. So this is it. It's extremely small. You can fit it in your pocket extremely easily. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you. Hit the little button that beeps for you, and then you get, hopefully you can see that. You get um, a little screen. I think it's an inch and a half. And this is widescreen because it's the uh, HD version. So I don't know really what else I can say. It uh, shoots in HD. Um, I think it's uh, 1020, 1020 by 720, 1028 by 720, it's something like that. Um, but it's 720p, or yeah, 720p video. And so that's, it's kind of like brushing the bottom of HD, but for a camera this small to shoot HD at all is really impressive. Um, it, the battery is supposedly like two hours. I haven't run out of battery yet. You can only shoot an hour of video. There's four gigabytes on um, on like flash in here so you can only shoot an hour worth of video and the battery is only two hours and that's uh, only half of the original Mino I think the original Mino had four hours but my, com my thing about that is if I can only shoot an hour of video at a time I don't think it really matters if I only have uh, two hours of battery because in order to get the um, video off of the camera you, pl you plug it into the USB and it starts charging anyway so obviously it's got the little switchblade action there um, and that's where you plug it in I have an iMac and that's one thing I should probably mention if you have an iMac or something not a laptop and the, um, the your USB hubs or, or ports are up off the ground a little bit you might want to uh, look for an extension cable just like a USB uh, male to female so that you can plug it in you can plug this into the cable 
um, and then plug the cable into your computer that way it's not hanging with the weight on this little um, piece right here so that's what I've done at first I used it by propping it up like this on the box um, so that the weight wasn't on there but then I just bit the bullet and bought a cable and it, that's been working really well since then